morning guys um i don't know if this is where the vlog begins if it is welcome back to my channel for those who are subscribed and those who are new welcome to my channel i hope you do click that subscribe button and i hope you enjoy my videos so um <laughs> right now i'm actually currently editing my i'm done editing so it's sunday and i'm about to post my first video um not my first video but after two years i'm about to post my first video after two years yo guys i'm, ex I'm excited but i just don't know how i also feel like i'm excited but i'm also nervous but you know what i'm just saying psalm 118 verse 24 this is the day that the lord has made guys this is the day that the lord has made so yes anyway i am going to um do my nails and actually my manic my pedicure my many i usually do at home <laughs> i will do my many in rustenburg because my nail tech is just you know um until i can find someone as good this side i will continue doing my nails that side anyway i go home once i go home at least i think every month once a month so yeah i think i can keep up with using her for now until i don't i don't get time to go home that's when i'll actually do my nails this side but i'm going home next week so i'm gonna do my nails then i know they're looking a bit um old but yeah also another thing i told myself i was watching my old videos one thing i am changing is the fact that i will always have my nails done yo guys i was cringing you know cringing um watching my old videos cover my nails yo guys i can't believe i used to do that but not anymore so let me not blab i'm going to do my toenails and i'm going to wax i'm going to try this game um i'm going to do it at this game this game skin strategy i think that's what the salon is called so yeah i'm going to center in more just to yeah do that I'll just take you guys along with me and then later on i'm going to kfc that um kfc what do they call it you guys will see it it's in linwood i think yeah there's a few days left that's why i really want to go today but yeah let me stop blabbing and let's go guys <laughs> you guys can hear me it's a tuesday yo i look like my problems <laughs> Woo! but i have a problem i need to go change my tire because apparently it's flat like nearby betty's so for my betty's and thing i don't even understand these things like i do not understand what they even said or what they were trying to say all i know is i need to go change my tire i hope when I get there, they don't tell me I need to change my tire because wow. I'm using my lunch time to go to to those tire shops. Um yeah. Hey you guys, my tata a life half adulting, I do not recommend. Yo! My tata a life is too much. Yo guys, yo, to Melanchab. So let me finish like a Sunday. That's because <laughs> Sunday I went to do my nails. I opened up the vlog, 
and i did say i'm going to do my nails i did say after i do my nails i'm going to that kfc kentucky town in linwood so um my boyfriend and i went there <laughs> guys we stood on that queue for hours guys three whole hours i think we're gonna go kfc got two o'clock we got inside the kfc to order food at like five o'clock i think nearly my five to five yeah it was 16 50 something when we got into that kfc guys the food was average um i'm not going to show you guys a clip of the food because i'm sure you guys have seen it on the tiktok videos the food was average it was not all that and some things were sold out like we didn't get to taste that red burger and apparently it's really good but we didn't get to taste that um we had every it, i think we had other things we didn't also buy the the donut burger um but we had the waffles burger the waffle is it the the waffle the uncle waffles burger i think that's what it called what it's called the waffle burger something like that but i don't want to blab on sunday i also went to this game um so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys what i got from this game and then yeah but guys kfc like i wanted to clip something i'm sure you guys have seen it by now it was not cute it was not cute yeah plus we went on the last day but let me not talk too much about kfc and just show you guys what i got at this game so um i'm sure you guys also saw on the clips that i did put in that i did insert that this cam um some of the things that i got so i got this nivea um rich care shower oil this guys this i used it this morning yo <laughs> guys i love this and this is going to be i think my new favorite thing plus we don't want to be looking ashy so <laughs> honestly it's quite pricey but i would really really recommend this <laughs> Guys, I love it. I really, really like it. And yeah, that's going to be part of my skincare, my body routine from now. And then I went to buy this instant ginger drink. Good winter, guys. But I, I really prefer drinking this um, when I've got flu. And I had flu like two weeks back. So I just got it in case flu again. And you know. But this is also nice. Also, my boyfriend drinks this with rooibos, guys. <laughs> I hope he doesn't come for me for posting or sharing this thing. But he says it's nice. I'm not a tea like person. The only tea I drink is green tea, so I don't know about the green, the the, the rooibos and um ginger drink um combo. But yeah. And then I got some Kotex um panty liners. Nothing to say about that also got some um panty liners also got this body um what's this body exfoliate oh body ecology um exfoliate exfoliating sugar scrub this smells so good guys yo it smells so good i used to use the brown one i just forgot the flavor of that one this one is sweet love Ooh, it smells so good it's also quite pricey but it smells really nice guys and then <laughs> i'm gonna plug you guys now. okay i also got a small vaseline for my car some gum and guys this i was just using this one now if you like that this game um what's this um what is that thing called lip therapy <laughs> you're gonna enjoy this you're gonna love this i'm plugging you guys with this please take a screenshot man. please take a screenshot i'm out i bought like three other ones which just went missing but um this is the girl she thinks she is they have the orange one the blue one the green one guys i love this lip gloss it's the girl she thinks she is and then another thing guys i just wanted to tell you about that the skin skin strategy this is where i went to do my my nails it's i think the competitors are so big guys um it's called the this game skin strategy beauty salon i actually didn't know that this game has a beauty salon so i was just passing um i was i was at this game like last month and then Ricky said that they gave me this um pamphlet and then Bamfali like some um what are those things testers some 
I forgot what that thing is that I use on my face. So I was like, let me just look through it. I looked through this and I was like, okay, the prices are good. Um, I went to try it. The customer service is also good. So also what I like is after that, I just pop into this game and shop. But yeah, this is not a paid, paid, paid promo or whatever. I was just plugging you guys. So also guys, I just wanted to mention that um i've been seeing a lot of comments on my youtube video that i posted on sunday people were asking me about the place that i used to stay at i did say also in the video that i will do a um sit down apartment review i'm sorry about that i'll do a, a sit down apartment review which i'm gonna do like a couple of days from now i'm just tired i'm exhausted right now we have low shading i'm pretty sure this is my new spot so even with the um what's this the, the the apartment review i'll be sitting here but it's gonna be part of this vlog um i'll be sitting right here um most probably during load shading because we have load shading around this time of the night so yeah i'm gonna do the review i'm sure you guys will see it towards the end of the vlog if not it's the last part of the vlog so yeah i'll see you guys on another day of this vlog <laughs> just got a cup of tea i did tell you guys i only drink the green tea i feel like that's the only not the only hot beverage i drink i also drink white chocolate and hot chocolate um but yeah let me not blab or waste time and i want to just make this part of the video to the point because i know most of you guys are here because of this part of the video um but yeah apartment review so i just have a few points on my phone um so that i don't miss anything um so firstly the name of the complex and where it's located so the name of the complex is waterfall crest i'll just type it down here and then it's located in midrand about two kilometers from mall of africa if you're familiar with midrand it is literally behind the food lovers market by waterfall ridge so yeah that's where the complex is um located so the types of apartments they have they have a one bedroom one bathroom two bedroom two bathroom two bedroom one bathroom and a three bedroom two bathroom that's what i have what they have so i used to stay in a one bedroom one bathroom as you guys saw on the video so i can't really comment much on the other apartments um the other types of apartments they have i can only really speak about the one bed one bath um apartment and i also had like one um parking space and then which was covered and then we also had like visitors parking they didn't really have a lot around where my car like apartment they actually don't have a lot of visitors parking but it's decent but yeah it's it's it, with the hang out mara i guess if you don't really have a lot of visitors you won't really mind that so yeah as i said i'm just gonna comment on the one bed or talk about the one bed one bath so when i moved in i moved in last year um the rent um was 6400 rand when i moved in um so when i moved in i paid 6400 rand um for the first month first month's rent and then i had to pay a deposit i think i got 50 percent of my deposit and then you can calculate that so 6.4 divided by 2 and then i had to pay an admin fee i just don't remember how much it was 
um i'll look through my emails and just put a screenshot here of everything i paid and then i had to pay an admin fee for electricity which is 800 rand which was a refundable admin fee um the 800 rand was refundable so and then they have this admin fee or this refundable fee so that by the time you move out if you have like your your electricity is outstanding they just re, um deduct it from that amount but if you move out and you still have electricity um or you're not owing them anything you're gonna get that 800 rand back and then i also had to pay 500 rand for a cleaning fee um yeah that's how much i had to pay for the cleaning fee in the beginning they didn't tell me that the cleaning fee was actually refundable i only found out when i was about to move out um the person who was doing my inspection was like your apartment is clean so um you'll be getting back your your 500 rand actually i have to check if i got it back but i think i did i just need to go back and check so that's that's the cost but i checked recently i'll put a screenshot here um the when i mean recently i mean like last week the price of the one bed one bath right now is six thousand seven hundred rand so you're not gonna pay six thousand four hundred that's from last year now it's six thousand six thousand rand six thousand six point four six point seven ish, ish, ish. i'm gonna put that on here because peter did a mistake <laughs> but that's the current price of the apartment of the one bed one bath ne? and then i'll leave a link down below so that you guys i'm sure you guys can go search on google to see if you're looking for a two bed or a three bed how much it is so yeah i was staying on the first floor also if you're just wondering um and then moving on i feel like i keep saying a lot of arms but it's fine guys please be with me and then moving on the electricity so i'm just gonna break this down into three now. there's electricity there's water and there's sewage costs so i'm sure a lot of you guys might be familiar with the sewage costs but i don't want to go into detail because i'm not really clued up on this but i know this is like a city of johannesburg thing where you pay a sewage cost um when i moved in it was about 500 rand it's a variable cost also um i think it goes up i'm not sure how many times a year but every time they increase um the prices of like whatever city of johannesburg increase any price that sewage cost might also increase by the time i moved out it was 600 rand i think the last six months or three months guys the dates are not you know but it was 600 rand the last few months when i was there um so yeah um so combined so they charge it combined like by this this met metering system they used it charges it like everything electricity water and um what's this the sewage cost as well as gas which i'll touch on after this as well as gas so i think the most i've paid in one month for everything was 1300 rand my whatsapp contacts know that i used to complain a lot about this because I, I used to stay alone guys imagine staying alone and paying 1300 rand for utilities that is really a lot of money but yeah that's how much i pay so in essence i'd pay i'm just calculating here quickly so i'd pay 700 rand for water electricity and gas um because it's the 1300 rand minus the 600 rand so that's how much i paid 700 rand for the other three and if you look at the app that they use they charge all those things daily so even the 600 rand you don't see it when you want to fill up 600 divided by 30 or by 31 depending on how many days are in that month over the 13 rand every day we put it and then it's that 600 rand um so yeah i did say i'll touch on the gas so that place the nice thing about that place they use um gas heat um stoves as i mentioned as well as the 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 what's that the geezer is also a gas the the not nice part about that is the fact that when we do not have electricity you do not have hot water like do not have hot water so i remember when there was low shedding at six o'clock and i had to go to the office i literally had to wake up at like half past five to shower and then get ready you know so that's the part that's not nice when there's no electricity there's no hot water but the nice part is you don't have to switch on and switch off the geyser you know the water also even if you switch off the geyser and you switch it on 
the water gets hot instantly. same time. That's the nice thing about it. But don't forget, no chilling, no hot water. So that's the other part. So I think I touched on everything. If you have any other questions, um, please do leave them below in the comment section. I will definitely answer. I do respond to the questions um that people ask not same time but i do respond so if you guys did enjoy this video it was a vlog and apartment review please give it a huge thumbs up and please do subscribe also guys can you please 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 follow me on instagram at rurisang underscore rurisang m underscore i'll put a screenshot of my of my instagram page here can you please follow me i post some really cute pictures and i want to start posting uh um what's this i want to start posting reels on my apartment because i think you guys are really enjoying my apartment videos and thank you guys for all the new subscribers yo guys since i posted the video i've received so much love you guys welcomed me back with open arms on youtube i will not lie guys youtube family i was telling my boyfriend youtube family is so like guys but when we youtube have an affiliate in pay but nice but nice and you guys have been so lovely and a little nice really welcoming little bona family <laughs> so yeah let me not speak too much i keep saying this but i'll see you guys on my next video bye